Hello everyone, I'm going to show a very quick and easy tutorial to install and get paperless ngx up and running on your QNAP NAS. So I tried to follow some tutorials online and it was pretty hard for me, So, but I found a very easy way to go about doing this. So um, I hope this will help everyone. So first thing that we're going to do is head over to the App Center and download Container Station. So we'll just let this download and install. All right, and now it has done installing. So before we continue any further, let's head over to control panel and shared folders. We are going to create a shared folder just for paperless. So uh, I'm going to keep it as very simple. Uh, folder name is just going to be paperless. And everything else, I'm just going to leave it blank. Uh, this one should be, sorry, everything. I'm just going to give everyone uh, read and write permissions because uh, it's required, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, click next. Uh, guest access can be denied. Uh, and the rest of it, I'll just leave it as it is. Finish and OK. Let this apply. And now it's done creating the folder paperless, right? So we can head over to file station and we can see that paperless is in here as well. So before we move ahead, let's just create some folders that we will require. So the folders are going to be the following. So I, I name it as such so that it's easier for me to know what goes where. So the first one is just going to be be this. And then it's going to be Postgres. by data media consume and last one will be all right so uh the naming uh as far as i know doesn't really matter you can name it whatever you want but i i name it like this so that it's easier for me to know what to map later and you will see that uh after we're we're done right so now that we have this uh this shared folder as well as all the folders inside the paperless folder as well we can go ahead and open up container station uh sure this one we can just keep it uh by default and uh nope i don't want to send any data all right so now we this is like a complete new sheet right blank, blank slate Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to download a few applications that I think is what it's called. So to keep it very simple, just follow along. So we'll click explore. First thing we want to download is Redis. Redis right? So and it's going to be this one. This is the official image. So we'll click deploy. Yes, understand. And yep, we'll take the latest version as well. So we're going to just add or change a couple of things so the name i'll just leave it as it is uh, result, uh most of it i'll just leave it blank except for the host i'm gonna say 6379 as well so this is the port so i from my understanding it just sort of forces it to be on this port as far as i know right and then we're gonna go over to advanced settings most of this uh, are gonna be blank except the storage i want to change it to bind mount host path so this uh, we're going to allow read and write permissions and uh, for the host we're going to select the uh, redis folder in paperless just here so basic and we just copy this container slash data we're going to put here and we can delete this over so this is just basically saying that you are going to store whatever data that redis is creating inside that folder that's it as far as i understand <laughs> that that's what it means so uh, I do apologize because I'm also quite new to all this container and stuff. So I'm just, uh, this is what I understand. Now. So I will create, I'll click apply. Oh, let me just make sure. Yep, that's all. Click apply and we should be done. So we can click next, finish, and it will start creating the container. All right, I think it's up. So uh, on the left here, we can just click container and we can see that Redis is running and it's ready to accept connection. So usually when it says this message means it's it's good to go. So the next one 
we're going to do is click create and oh, sorry not create explore and we're going to do postgres to search postgres and it's going to be this first one as well this is the official image as well we can click deploy okay yep next and more or less the same thing so the host we're going to also put 5432 and the advanced settings uh right so we're going to do a little bit of a change in the environment here so we're going to add a new variable I'm going to say Postgres DB. Let's add new variable Postgres user. Paperless. And the last one would be Postgres password. So this one you can you can write whatever value you want, let's say one to three or anything, and click apply. So once you click apply, uh, you can, uh, we also want to change the storage again. So we're going to do the same thing, bind mount host path. And so this is under Postgres, right? So we're going to go paperless, Postgres, apply, uh, copy this container, paste it here, and we'll delete the old one. So make sure it's still on read and write. Apply, and yep, that should be all. Next, and we can finish. And this will start creating the container. Right, it's up and running and yep, almost I'll say instantly, I guess. If, so it's ready to accept connections. So we're just one step away from being done. So now we're gonna do the last one, which is gonna be the most important one, which is paperless ngx. So we're gonna click explore, we're gonna type paperless ngx. So make sure it's let me just make sure, yeah, it's this one. So if you click it, it opens up the Docker website and I'm fairly confident this is the official one because it has 10 million pools. So this should be the official one. So it's this one, we'll click deploy. Okay. So now we have quite a few things to add in here. So we can click next. All right, so the host. We're going to do the same 8000 and follow the same port over here advanced settings uh, environments okay so this is where we are going to be adding a few environment variables right here so the first one is going to be add new variable we're going to do the following paperless underscore redis and the value is going to be the following I'll give me one second let me copy it value is going to be this so how do i get this so this is going to be the ip address you use to access your nas so as you can see in the url minus 192.168.1.2 which is the exact same and this port is the port that we initially uh, we initially had created for redis so this is by default 6379 so we keep it 6379 so as long as the port is the same on redis when we did the environment oh, sorry not the environment in the is it called over here you know the, the network port for redis it was 6379 as long as it's 6379 this yours and mine should be very similar just make sure that this ip address is pointing to your nas next variable that we're going to add is paperless underscore db post and this is going to be your nas ip is this the next one is going to be paperless db user which is the username that we gave in the postgres uh, variable right which is paperless for, for me i kept it as paperless because it's easier to remember followed by paperless db pass and this will be your this will be your password right which was one two three followed by paperless underscore db name just also paperless for me because i i want to keep it as simple as possible i don't want to confuse myself with too many stuff and you can put paperless time zone i don't know if this variable works but you can try and see what happens so for me i'm in singapore so i'll keep it as asia slash singapore 
and that should be all for this so we will just click apply and there is one more thing uh storage right okay so now we're gonna sort of remap everything to be the folders that we created in the shared folder paperless so what do i mean first we're gonna do by mount host path so we're gonna do this one first consume so i'll keep it here container consume and we're gonna go search paperless consume apply all right so we got consume consume and we can delete the old one next one data by amount here just delete the exact same thing data okay delete this next one export and this will be up here export and the last one is media so click here and where is media apply all right and we can delete this other one so now we have all this all this sort of already pointing to that folder itself click apply and we should be good to go click next finish and now we let this deploy i will pause the recording and i'll come back when it's up and running all right and it's just done so it's running so now it's going to try and um from my understanding it's going to connect to everything so i'll just enlarge this a bit so we can see what's happening so it's going to I think it has connected to Redis. It has connected to Postgres. So now it's just going to do some checks and everything. So we'll just give this a bit of time. Usually it's up and running in about like a minute or so. So let's just give it a moment. Okay, I think it is ready. So if I'm not wrong, usually when it says this, it means it should be ready. So how do we access paperless? Very easy. What we're going to do is, so since paperless is running on the port 8000, you're just going to type in your your IP address followed by 8000. Ah, sorry, your NAS IP address followed by 8000, which is this. For me, is this. So I'm just going to click enter. And now... It just asks us, okay, because first first user, so we can just create whatever we want. This is going to be, I'll just say admin, password, I'm just going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I'm not wrong, it needs 8 characters. Alright, and sign up. Okay, uh, give me one second. Uh... So, okay. Peace. All right. Good. Perfect. Okay. So now we are in paperless and we're signed in as admin. So the first account that you create is going to have, I guess, like super permissions, right? So just keep that in mind. And so what we're going to do, we're just going to do a very quick test. We're just going to do a test upload. So we can just drag a file in and just drop it. And on the bottom, you can see that it was uploading and it's done loading. And we can find it up here in documents. Let's upload. You can double click it and it will just show us like a preview of what's in the file. Right. And to the reason why we also sort of created the shared folder, the separate shared folder, is so that we can do easier backups in case we need it. So once this is up and running, we can go over here and we can we can head over to file station and we can go over to the paperless folder so usually if you see um you know like all these folders created it means that your data is stored inside here so if you click documents so the originals will be under here so they it will rename so the name of the file but this is the original file where it says hello everyone right but uh don't worry i'm pretty sure i the i think the metadata stores the actual name of your file itself so yeah that's pretty much it you are up and running and you're good to go your your paperless ngx is is set up in qnap and you can now start storing all your documents freely and easily
Thank you, everyone.